sisters, let's go down, let's go down. Come We're here because Smitty's got a second hymns project and uh, excited about it. Lots of great stuff from ancient and, and recent and then and then kind of modern as well. Like, what are your, your top five hymns of all time? If you had to, you had to boil Ooh. down your favorites. Top five? Oh, I have to think about this because usually I get asked about favorite hymn. Yeah. Amazing Grace. Come on, you favorite. Oh yeah. I, I love it as well as my soul. I think just the story behind it probably makes it even more special. You know? I guess my new favorite modern hymn would be Jesus Only Jesus. And then I didn't realize how much I loved I need until I started cutting. How did you arrive at the, the songs you picked? Well, I picked up the hymn book again. And yeah. just started skimming through the whole thing, going, did I, have I missed something? You know? yeah. um, and then I just started, um, I just started really racking my brain. And, and I listened to some old uh, country hymn records. I listened to a lot of Johnny Cash singing hymns. Um, and then, um, I stumbled across, oh brother, where art thou? Yes. And thought, wow, down by the river. You know? And I actually got the idea for that song from the Mormon Tabernacle Choir. Like somebody said, you need to listen to the Mormon Tabernacle Choir arrangement, which I did. Which obviously my thing is night and day from the Mormon Tabernacle. So that was the funnest thing I worked on. Did you find it was more difficult, you know, picking the picking the songs this time? Or you kind of broadened your your horizons as far as what you considered to be hymns on this record a little bit. Did that make it easier? Was it more difficult? I think it made it easier, actually. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it wasn't easy to, 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 to try to come up with the final 16. Yeah. Um, but knowing that it wasn't just going to be just the hymns and the hymn book, that we were going to expand a little bit and do things like the Untitled Hymn, the Chris Ross song, yes. Jesus Only Jesus, Down by the River. Uh, and even a song called Shine On Us that my wife and I wrote about eight, nine years ago. As you said, it's a little modern, a little ancient, a little contemporary. Uh, I really think it actually holds together. Um, you would think, you know, trying to diversify and trying to do a lot of different things would complicate things, but I don't think it did. I think it really, um, I think it's a beautiful uh, collection of just a little bit of everything.